Hello, lovely friends. Thank you so much for being here today. Here's a sneak peek of this fun rainbow Dutch pour. And I used no cell activator, just my usual Liquitex gloss pouring medium. Thank you so much to my members. Please check out the channels for Taslima, Louise, Legalize, Travelling Tramps and Simply Net. They have such amazing creative channels. So look at these colours today, real rainbow colours. And I had such fun just mixing them all and layering them all. I haven't used all of them, but I will list the ones as I go along. But these are all the ones I got together thinking of rainbow. As I went along, I could see the interaction of the different paints. And so I ended up choosing five or six different colours that interacted and caused a lovely rainbow of colours on this dip stitch painting today. So I've got these two semicircles and I got them from the range in the UK. I'm sure you can get them from lots of different places, including Amazon as well. And I thought I'd have a nice titanium white base pillow today. Later on, you'll see some lovely cells and you had that sneak peek at the beginning. And what I'm finding is that with my gloss Liquitex pouring medium, when I mix that with my Oatrol and certain paints, I tend to get cells without any cell activator at all. And today I'm going to talk you through as we go along. So I've got my hair dryer, my trusty hair dryer. I'm just making sure that even though the canvas is white, this titanium white, all whites are a slightly different shade from each other, is spread nice and evenly all the way across the surface of the canvas. And I'm using my hair dryer for a really nice, even flow. And you can see how nice and flowing the paints are. All the paints are the same consistency and I'm at this stage just deciding which colours I'll end up putting on first and then which colours I'm going to layer. When you get certain colours together, even though they look like they might go, when you actually layer them, it does turn out differently. One of the interesting things about having a really dark or really light base is that the colours stand out. And with the cell activators, when you look at the properties of Oatrol, which is very similar to Floatrol, and Liquitex pouring medium, when you combine the two together, I find the flow is really good and cells pop up randomly. But it's not as random as you think. They do actually need a certain interaction with certain paints and the heat or the warmth from the hairdryer and the heat from the blowtorch does encourage cells as well. So at the end of this, I'll be showing you where certain parts of the canvas have got particular cells and other parts have just spread the paint beautifully and interacted really nicely color wise. And they're two different things. And I don't normally have them. I don't always have them in the same painting. Sometimes I get a lot of cells, sometimes I get the flow, but in a Dutch pour, it's one of the ways to really enhance cells because of the warmth and the heat of the hair dryer, even though it's on a cool setting. So I'm making sure that I'm just got every single area covered and I've really made sure to balance the canvas out because when you have different shaped canvases like this and sometimes some canvases are really uneven it's quite hard to get it level on every part of the canvas and it's not just your spirit level <laughs> sometimes actually the shape of the canvas so now the base layer is all down nice and evenly i now want to choose my first color and i'm going to layer them in a particular way so I've got my lime green. That's one of my favorite colors. It's so iridescent. It's got a lovely shimmer. And it's very reasonable. If you ever go to Hobbycraft in the UK, there is various stores all the way around the UK. You can easily pick up that lime green. I can't find it anywhere else. Um, and it's four pounds. So beautiful color. I mean, you can make that color as well with, with different greens and blues and this, and this yellow. It's a lovely yellow to mix with blue to create green. 
So I'm layering the lime green and then I've got the green blue and the yellow. Those layers come out so nicely and they just could be slightly different gradients of each other's colour and you don't know until you blow it out or that you can tell already on the left hand side there's more paint and therefore there'll be more green and there'll be more of a gradient of the greens. I'm adding gold and put gold all the way through the centre so it adds the sparkle. This is a, a lovely light gold by Pebio. Gold and orange go beautifully and it's almost like at the other end of the canvas I'm creating a bit of a sunset colour. I've got my orange and my gold and my pink. Pink and orange, the lighter colours there mix so nicely. Orange is one colour I like to keep away from green and I it's okay with blue but I like to layer it and with a white base you'll see a different outcome anyway. Now this sounds quite complicated, it's not that complicated. Well it can be but just to try and keep it simple it's all about experiment. Every time you try layering a paint with a different colour, different consistency, different base and if you layer it with white it will have a different outcome. So for the purposes of today, I'm just keeping it really simple and I'm layering the paint. So I don't want any brown today and I don't want any gray. They're the two colors that you don't find in rainbows. And even though if you mix all the paints up afterwards, you might get a shade of gray or a shade of brown. For this video, I just want to keep all the colors nice and vibrant. Sky Blue is one of my favourite blues. It's by Amsterdam. It's a really beautifully strong pigmented paint along with that Crimson by Golden. They're very strong, beautiful colours. So can you see that I've put the blues in between the green, yellow, reds and orange and I've actually layered it in gold. So the only, once I layered the greens, which is the one colour that can be quite changeable with a lot of the lighter colours. I've layered it from to yellow and then gold and then I've put the blues on top of the gold and then I've added the orange and reds right at the end. So I'm interested today to see how the pink, orange and red interacts with the blue. So here we go. As I blow with the hairdryer I'm pointing it down and out really slowly. I always use the slow setting and this hairdryer is 1800 watt. Most hair dryers are 1800 to 2000. It's quite a small handheld hair dryer. So can you see as I blow out just what's happening to the colours? If you had a dark base this would come out differently again. And can you see where I've put more paint on? The colours interacting more deeply purely because there's more paint. I'll come back shortly to show you what happened to my rainbow painting. just finished the blowout now and look at those cells they're so beautiful and I noticed they were created straight away with the hairdryer and then again they came out a bit more prominently when I used the blowtorch really beautiful really delicate cells they've got different shades of yellow gold and green in so I want to say to you my members and my subscribers thank you so much for being here Thank you for your support. It really does mean a lot and it really helps me with my art supplies. Thank you for buying me a coffee or adding to my subscription monthly. It really does help. And I love hearing what you would like me to create, what colours you'd like me to choose and just hearing what you see in my paintings. I love seeing what you create and I find so much joy in interacting with you and 
hearing your views and your opinions. So thank you so much for that. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're creating something for you. Don't forget your art is a part of you. So look at these delicate cells and this flow in this painting. I really did see a rainbow in this painting and I also saw a bit of a botanical thing going on. So I'd love to know what you can see. Thank you so much for being here. Happy creating and I hope to see you again soon. Take care now. Bye.